all aboard. Anaconda's art and culture scene is ready to take off. And one local professional theater company is ready to jump that train. We don't have a ton of professional theater companies. And as uh, Montana is blowing up with the film scene and, and, and I think Anaconda's ready for um, more consistent entertainment and entertainment that is going to challenge them. Vetter is starting the Anaconda Ensemble Theater, which will bring more adult-oriented productions and featuring Montana actors and playwrights. I think that it's important that not only um, are artists getting paid for their work, but we're giving, you know, Montana playwrights specifically a platform for their work to be produced as well. Vetter, who lives in Anaconda, spent the last seven years as the artistic director of the Orphan Girl Children's Theater in Butte before stepping down to pursue this new project. I don't think I would have the confidence to start a new company if I hadn't had that experience. Jackie believes this is a good time to start this new venture because this is a really hot time for development in this small town of Anaconda. Walking down Park Street, just looking, some of the blocks now are completely full of businesses um, and it's really exciting to see that growth. Many people in the smelter city are feeling the renewed energy. Um, you can see the growth, uh, everybody's super welcoming here. You know, you go to a lot of small towns and sometimes, uh, you know, they don't want things to change. Um, but here, you know, the changes are for the better, like to revive the town. The theater will use different venues in town for performances before finding a more permanent location. In Anaconda, John Amy, MTN News.